Okay, traders, some sushi for you guys again. The last video on sushi didn't have much engage engagement. I think um, that this shows that nobody gives a fuck about sushi anymore. That is why this thing is gonna break the fuck out of this range and probably go to fifty dollar, guys. As 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 far fetched it sounds, but it's probably gonna happen as we have started kind of kind of trending above this point as we have closed the daily three day candle above this range above this entire range yet again we are lower than the upper bollinger band right here guys now i'll be looking at bollinger band for most of the trending behaviors as this is one of the key indicators as to if the asset is probably going to trend to the upside if the asset is going to continue trending or not bollinger band is your friends um and um, i think yeah guys this is the time to start paying attention back into sushi just trust me on that one <laughs> not kidding nobody gives a fuck about sushi anymore so yeah you have to start giving a fuck about it you got to you got to start looking at sushi as the 12 hour candles are your key trend indicator and i think it's actually going to take off guys it's actually going to take off with bitcoin consolidating in these ranges and bitcoin not breaking below 45000 anymore we could come back again to 45 we could go to 38 and all that trap but um, as far as we are holding that level we are in a trending motion we are start our trend to the upside basically we broken out you could fail the breakout um, uh, but i highly doubt it as on the 12 hour time frame look at this this is what is happening guys this is what i talk about right here that's a pretty fucking bad looking highlighter but yeah this is what i'm talking about just 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 look at this what is happening right here you are crossing above the middle bollinger band on the 21 simple moving average on 12 hour time frame guys now this is me sitting here giving you guys my edge away for free as a trader just hit that like hit that subscribe that's the best you can do i think um, right help me build a community guys let's all build a community together i've been i've been screaming and shouting about this fact for a very very long time um as i do really want to build a good sophisticated trading community with all of you with all of you people and we are supposed to be the most sophisticated and the smartest trading gang gang right gang <laughs> <laughs> just a community just a community full of um, uh, rational thinkers in terms of traders that's what i'm trying to build right here you guys have to support me for that would so hit that subscribe go for the share as well if you really want um and we'll continue with this analysis right here as sushi is 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 finally having this cross on the bollinger band as and the moving average as well um so guys let me just let me just go back to the history and i'll i'll show you what happens when this happens this is what happens you cross to the upside you give an up move but well the market dynamics are going to decide most of the things as bitcoin was kind of consolidating uh, while this happened right here but check this out guys this this um after this cross right here look at look at the price action you simply had a 100% up move guys i think i think yeah it was 100% up move and yet another cross right here right you had um, an entity fair enough 80% up move yet another cross right here more than 100% coming in at 130 now what are you dealing with you dealing with another cross right here with this price action breaking above the upper bollinger band on 12 hour time frame so that's going to be pretty significant for sushi and something is about to go out for sushi guys something is just start paying attention if you are subscribed to this channel if you're looking at my content every single day i think um i think you should start paying attention to sushi guys this is one of the key trades that you could have uh, for the remaining part of the year to be honest with you manage your risks properly guys if you start if 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 you start breaking below this uh, the support right here on 4 hour time uh, on 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 4 hour schedule basically if you start closing candles below 18.3 then you start managing your risks you um you basically stay flat you do not um, stay in sushi as you could be trending back back towards this uh, this this initial grind this daniel trending support come in and at $15 guys you could come and retest that point again if you break this point again so i think as far as you're trending above this as far as you've closed that 4 hour candle open as well above this high right here you could be under trending motion but you've rejected the upper side of bollinger band on immediate time frame so that calls for a little consolidation but do not be disheartened guys do not be disheartened as sushi has something good to be coming up as the fundamental keeps on growing and most of the things most of the cryptocurrencies guys bow I I think it's bao finance bao finance um bao finance what it basically does is it it kind of incentivizes um most of the sushi uh, uh sushi and uniswap liquidity providers um to actually st- 
start staking their sushi plus you need to get some bow uh, tokens <laughs> so, so a lot of things happening for the defi as well and if the ethereum 2.0 comes out really fast uh, ethereum gas fees will go down these projects are going to be a long term success guys bow um, is is one of the shit coins that i'm looking at um, which is a kind of mid cap i think low cap i think low cap coin which is probably going to do good we'll talk about bow sometime else i'm going to make a specific video for my top 5 picks for the extreme um, extreme low cap coins which ha- which could be potential 1000x in the coming years um, as the financial industry keeps on changing um, well that's a far fetched thing to talk about but if you're holding the support right here you find on sushi and if you lose this one right here 18 you could be talking about first coming at this point uh, which is which is a pretty nice looking good looking point of um, point of control it seems like at 16.9 basically 17 dollars you lose this you come to 17 uh, if you lose this you come back to this diagonal trending line right here uh, but as far as you men- if you maintaining this level right here if 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 your higher time frame closures like 12 hours are happening above the upper side bollinger band on an opening and a closing basis then you will be in under trending motion and you can simply this is bull flag right here guys this is like this is like sushi is flagging out between these points and the, what the fuck are you doing not holding sushi man this is crazy accumulation this is crazy reaccumulation which could turn out to be potential distribution as well if you fail to continue your breakout to the upside so always have this rational mindset why you go on risking money in these crazy crypto markets just um, just just be personal about your capital guys it's not don't don't be married to fucking sushi go fucking have it that's going to be better but do not be married to sushi but as far as you're trending to the upside you could certainly long this one and you could certainly hold this one um let's check out the extreme small time frames as um, uh, yeah you're 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 trending in the small time frames as well by by the time this video comes out we could be probably looking at some resolution probably to the downside as well could be to the downside as well as uh, again and again ev- with every highs made on sushi the record has not been that good so what is different this time guys why the fuck can it not come down again something like this why the hell can something like this not happen again look guys it can certainly happen you can certainly come down and consolidate again for um, another try to the upside but as i mentioned earlier in this video this is the key difference right here all right most of the times you were below the middle bollinger band that's why you're consolidating and rejecting the price action right here and you have finally crossed above it so this is the different event this this is the this is basically this is what is telling that this breakout could be real and you um, there are less chances for a fake out basically if you come down you could be picked up from these levels but um, you could be supported from this point as well but most likely your trend is going to be uh, to the upside as we have crossed bullish on this one right here anyway sushi against Ethereum guys am i fucking dyslexic or what i can't i can't speak and type together s u s h i ethereum sushi against ethereum let's see what traders are doing on this one guys this is a massive fucking bullish engulf on the 12 hour time frame above the bollinger band right here this is under trending motion man this is going to have a blast okay it's probably better to hold sushi than ethereum as this trend is very strong guys this is fucking good looking pick up this is a good looking momentum right here beautiful fucking price action as you're breaking this uh, reaccumulation range fucking breaking this flag guys this was a bull flag um yeah your pole being this one right here you breaking above it you have your good targets at 0.016 probably the highs probably yeah you're going for this guys i mean yeah sushi against ethereum is this another method to 2x your ethereum yes it is yes it is yes it is talk about some talk about some magic in the market you can 2x or ethereum if it keeps on maintaining the strength right here and if it keeps on building these bullish in gulf can- bullish in gulf candles um, that high, with high degree of certainty it's quite possible sushi will come to test this point right here and look at this trend guys this is fucking beautiful right i mean do you really want to fight this one right here no this is called a strong trend guys this is a fucking strong trend are we breaking above the wedge as well not yet but you could do that you could certainly do that in the coming days and the hours uh, but if you do yeah you're going for this point right here how do you manage your risks on this particular price action right here this looks to me like the low right here and this bullish engulf was the confirmation uh, for this entire bull flag breakout um you pretty much m- missed a lot of price action 22% to the upside but uh, if you are okay with managing your risk um, uh, at these levels right here then you're fine then you're better off holding sushi rather than ethereum guys this is this is one of the key takeoffs um, from this particular video right here what should you keep or should you keep ethereum or should you just simply get into sushi guys 
I think that the upside for Ethereum is getting lesser and lesser. I mean, this is my personal opinion. I do not know what the other traders are thinking, what un, um, what other analytics are telling you about. But uh, as far as how I see the market, I think Ethereum is going to get into a long form of consolidation. Your highs being at two thousand dollars and uh, your lows being at thousand dollars. It's going to range bound. It's going to be range bound for a very long time. But 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 if BTC goes above seventy five k, goes two hundred k, then you are talking about Ethereum going to three thousand dollars and further upside for that one as well. Until that is happening, Sushi is going to be a good good hedge against Ethereum as well, guys. Sushi BTC. Our last candidate, our last pair. Now this one is doing something like Ethereum as well. First, you have to test this one. You you have to take this down as well. Uh, if you do take this high down at uh, forty two thousand, forty two, four hundred thousand. Is it four hundred thousand satoshis or is is it forty two thousand? Yeah, it's forty two thousand. If you break above forty two thousand satoshis, then you are probably in a strong trending motion to the upside. As most of the curling price action on Sushi, they do lead prices to the high, um, to the extreme highs. And guys, um, you want to be considering this one right here. I'm not. I'm um, I don't see you see some price action activity right here, so this is going to be a key inflection interest, uh, which is happening in at eighty five thousand satoshis, which is probably a nice uh, more than a hundred percent move to the upside from this current point. Yep, this is one hundred twenty percent move to the upside, and you are curling perfectly fine so guys sushi is strong against ethereum and btc as well so if btc is strong in the market and ethereum is strong in the market then sushi is exponentially strong in the market against us dollar and you're looking for some good breakout uh, good breakout moves on sushi guys um, uh, time to pay attention time to pay attention trade this one i think you'll be coming out with success um, as this is this is happening guys i'm giving you i'm i'm giving you some top notch information it looks like for just like this this is the this is my experience helping you guys out i think um, and 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 i do i believe in karma i think i do believe in karma uh, so if i'm doing something good for you guys um, I, I i do expect something good to happen in my life as well i think i was just just what a fucking ramble what nonsense i think uh, <laughs> we we want to be closing above the 40000 satoshis for this extreme breakout move to take place but most of the times when sushi curls up like this it continues for a very long time guys so this is going to be something really interesting to um, keep an eye on in fact i'm going to be setting my alerts if it comes down to this level i'm also going to be nibbling with some of sushi as most of my holdings are in bitcoin i do not hold much ethereum or any other altcoins um, uh, i mean i do nibble around with some potential thousand x's uh, shit like that but um, i think i think yeah these are your you break this range to the either side you're going to be having some good moves most likely you're going to be breaking to the upside as this is no fucking selling interest on sushi guys this is the, the, every single time you consolidate you curl to the upside so this is a good sign long term guys um you could you could certainly look at some good upside for sushi against btc as well for this point right here 100% move guys 100% move why the fuck not let's just simply take it if it actually trends um 12 hour um, of course looking bullish uh, i did, did i check out the bollinger band on btc price action yeah you're trending above it you, you're looking fine you won't be taking down this uh, resistance right right here in within this 12 hour candle itself and you are in trending motion guys probably your 100% move is um, underway uh 50% has already happened <laughs> so this entire move was 233 fucking percent um but uh, this one uh, 123% guys pay attention on sushi going to be honest all right let's bring about some bearish counter arguments as well if for example you just take away everything you take away all of your momentum oscillators you take away the moving averages as well you take away all the support resistance point as well what do you see forming here could be double topping as well so what could happen right here is you went like this you came around consolidated you would test this again and then you would fail go to zero um but uh, if you take this high if you close any candle above this point right here then it is going to be a confirmed breakout move and a confirmed continuation move for a potential 100% but guys this is strengthful price action i do not think it's going to be a double top it's curling to the upside bring in a lot of support from this diagonal trending support starting in at 20th january it has a month long support right here this diagonal trending support um, so you could be challenged you could be taken down this particular area right here before this 12 hour closes um, i think by the time this video is up uh, it would have already happened uh, but if you do take this area out guys sushi is going to have a party sushi party sushi sushi party for you guys um uh, if you do make some money out of this uh, do send me some su sushis um and i'll swap it for you for some cake <laughs> 
All right, guys, that's been that's been it. That's been it for this video. All right, let's just check uh, check out the um, ADX and the, um, let's just let's try to look at some different standpoints as well. As I was um, charting this one out on the momentum uh, indicators as well. So, guys, we looked. Uh, this one right here was basically just RSI and volatility, which I did not talk about. Basically, this was just price action talks right here. But this is um, the momentum talks right here as the ADI and. The, ADX is shifting to the upside, guys, with strength right here, confirming this fact even further down the line that we are going to be looking at some uptick. So uh, your indications, yeah, uh, your selling indication is coming to the downside, but your momentum to the upside is kind of picking up with this entire price action. And your um, MACD not really strengthful on three-day time frame, but you you are certainly wanting to pick up some. You you want to pick something up from this level, basically. Let's go for the daily as well as you are crossing to the upside on daily, but massive massive bearish divergence um yep hidden bearish divergence uh this between this point and this point but uh, you didn't get picked up right here on sushi usdt so this is completely fine as far as the structure goes and your support and resistance are like this so and so forth uh but you're crossing to the upside on macd and your adx is strengthening to the upside um okay so daily showing some signs of momentum as well um, momentum guys this is what you want for an asset you want confluence of indicators telling you one single thing everything telling you one single thing that is going to confirm your move even further that's going to strengthen your argument and that this is what is happening on the adx and di um, as well as your direction indication is strengthening guys so sushi like i said start paying attention towards it even if it comes down pick some up pick some sushi up buy the fucking dip on this one it's probably going to work out for the long term if it doesn't work out in the short term but sushi looking good sushi very good very very good all right guys i think that's been enough for this video right here and that's been enough for my ramble as well i hope to catch you guys in the next one pretty soon bye for now